Hey y'all, welcome back to LNL Honeycomb Homestead. I am Lovey, and I'm here to show you how you can make your own pasta dough. You heard it, pasta dough. Who wants to keep going to the store and get some pasta, okay? For your spaghetti or whatever else you might have. So if you wanna know how to make some spinach pasta dough, stay tuned. y'all so a lot is going on here in the honeycomb i am making bread i'm making pasta as you can see i'm going to show you right here this is some of the pasta dough i'm making okay and i'll be showing you how to do that here soon but in the meantime i'm going to show you how to make this spinach noodle dough okay and i'm going to tell you the things that you're going to need you can use it um you can start making this stuff with your hands on your counter make sure it's clean you can use your processor or you can use your bread maker that's my timer for my dough to go in the oven so I can have my hoagie rolls because that's what I'm making right now so in the meantime I'm going to show you all the things that you need to make for this dough all right let's get to it okay so for this spinach pasta you're going to need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour so I'm going to get the three and a half cups. <clears throat> and I'm using my food processor. So that way I can break this down. Versus me doing it manually with my hands first. So we're going to need three cups. Three and a half cups. You're going to put this in your processor. That's one. Two. Get it on up in there. Get it good and full. That's two cups. That's three cups. half a cup and let's see here okay and that's my half Okay, so you need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Get this good and clear it off of here. Yes, my hands been washed, y'all. Okay. You're going to need a pinch of salt. I'm just going to get my little pinch. Put that in there. You don't want none of that iodine salt. No, ma'am. Okay, and then you're gonna need three fourths cups of fresh spinach. I'll put that in here too. Okay, get that in there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead, put the top on. Make sure it's good and on there tight. And now you're going to add three eggs to this, okay? I'm going to turn it down on low, and we're going to start adding our eggs. Okay. 
now we're going to add one fourth cup of olive oil. Okay. And we're going to add two tablespoons of water. Okay. And we're going to blend this until it comes into a parade. water because when it's like this you want it to come into a puree but you want it to get it mixed as well too okay just add a little water as you go and then I'll show you So it's got a little tacky to it. It's parade, but it's got a tacky to it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You see that tacky and it's kind of parade a little bit. It's kind of all stuck together. This is what you want right here. This is what you want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, let me bring you on down so you can see. You're gonna add some flour to your counter. I'm gonna sprinkle it on here. I'm gonna give you a better shot. So you're gonna have some flour on your counter. Kind of spread it around a little bit, like so. And now we're gonna take the spinach dough on out. Be very careful. You don't wanna cut yourself. You wanna take that out and set it on the counter. Make sure you have all your rings and stuff taken off your finger because you don't want to spread those germs on over into your rings, the dough. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Look at there. It's very pretty. You want to take this out. Take as much as you can up out of there. Because it's in there. Okay, set this over to the side. Take some off of this spatula. Set the spatula to the side. And what you're going to do, you're going to knead this dough for a good 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely smooth. Okay? You want to do that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to knead this dough. And it smells good too, y'all. Now, with your spinach dough, if you want to add garlic or whatever else to this, you can. Because this is going to be your noodles. Okay? This is going to be your noodles. You can make your own noodles up. You can do this with your zucchini. You can do this with uh, with um, squash. You can pretty much do it all the same way. And if it's that real sticky, just keep adding flour to it. But you do want to uh, roll this this ball, okay? You wanna you wanna knead this dough, and you wanna do it for a good ten to fifteen minutes, okay? That's what you want to do. You want to roll it. And if it's still got a little stickiness to it, you want to add just a little flour 
it don't need to be a whole lot, just a little, you know what I'm saying? But you want it to be smooth. You want it to be smooth. Gotta make sure you get your hands, take this off my fingers, this spinach, because we're gonna put all this in. We're gonna roll it all in there. Okay, we're gonna make sure it's good and cleared. And if it's sticky, don't add no more water to it. Now I'm letting my other <laughs> bread back there rise. I got my timer so I know how long I need to let this stuff rise. But we're going to keep rolling this for a good 10 to 15 minutes okay because you want this dough to be smooth see how it's coming together that's what you want this is what you want because you want to roll it into a ball Okay, you want to roll it in there. Okay, you want just a little bit more flour, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Get my hands good. You want to keep rolling it until it's a dough. Until it's a good, nice, firm ball. You want to get the stickiness up out of here. Okay. Keep kneading. And all I'm doing is kind of pulling it and rolling. Okay? Pulling it and rolling. And you just keep doing it. And I'm using the palms of my hand to roll. Okay? That makes any sense. One more time. Put just a little bit of flour. Put some on there because you want it to get that on out of there, the stickiness. Because you want it to be smooth. You don't want it to be sticky. You just keep adding that little flour until it's completely done. Okay. We're going to keep rolling. Okay. Get all the flour you can get. You're going to roll this ball. As you can see, you want to roll it. Make sure all this spinach dough is off my fingers. Okay, you just put it on there. You want it not to be sticky no more, which is not sticky anymore. But you want to keep on kneading because that's what you're doing. You're kneading. Okay, and then now you're going to roll it in into a ball, and you're going to just kind of like cuff it, see? You're going to cuff it, and you're attacking it back here, so that way it's kind of pulling it tight, okay? Kind of pulling it tight, okay? And it'll look just like this, okay? And then you're going to take a bowl and set it in there and then you're going to cover it and you're going to cover it for a good 15 minutes that's all 15 minutes i'm going to set it over to the side and i'm going to show you what you do after those 15 minutes okay y'all so it's been 15 minutes as you can see 
We're going to take this down on up out of this uh, bowl. Make sure you have you some flour on your counter. Okay, make sure you have that on your dough as well. Okay, you want to have enough on there. Make sure you got you a good cutter. And we're going to cut this in half. You can also make this as your bread. If you want this to be a spinach bread, you can have it as a spinach bread too with the same ingredients. And we're going to set this over to the side. Okay. Put this over here. Let me set this over here too. Okay. So now it's good. You want to have enough flour to put on a roller because you're going to need a roller like so. Okay. So you want to put some of this dough, I mean, flour on there because you don't want it to stick. Okay. I want to have enough flour on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to roll this dough on out. Okay. You want to roll it on out. You want to get it good and floured. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you see that? You're going to take it and you're going to flip it over and you're going to make sure you have enough dough on the bottom and on your roller because <clears throat> you don't want it to stick you don't want this um dough to stick to your roller so you're going to roll this on out and you want to get it like a rectangle in a sense and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about here in a second Sure is good and rolled out. All right. It's gonna be like a rectangle. Make sure it's good and rolled out. I'll flip it over some. Make sure you got enough flour on the back side of it as well. Roll it some more. And I'm going to show you the finishing on that so we can go to the next step. So I'm turning it around so you can see. Bring you up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I hope you can see this well. So I got it into a, a rectangle and I rolled it out as flat as I could. Make sure you have enough flour on here. If you have a pizza cutter or a knife or something like that, this right here would be the best. But if you don't, just have you a knife or something. You know, so we're going to make some straight lines going straight through. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna start from over here and I'm gonna work my way on up this dough. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and make my lines. When you're making your noodles, you can make them really wide you can make them skinny. You can make them any kind of way you want to, y'all. These are your noodles. You don't have to worry about nobody criticizing how you do your noodles. Because they're going to be cooked anyway. You're going to eat them. Okay. If you can see how I'm doing this. Down like 
It's all up to you how you want to do your lines. I don't make the straightest lines, but they're in here. Okay. And if you want them to be protected, right? Now you want to sprinkle some more flour over it. Kind of smooth it out on them. Because you don't want them to have any kind of tackiness on it. Nothing like that. Okay. And then you just take a few, just like this, like so. And have you some more flour. And pick them up. And just kind of sprinkle it on there. And now you have some, you have you some noodles. You're going to do them the same way. See that? So if you don't have a machine, that's the way you do it. And you're going to wrap them around just like that. I'm going to put them on my tray. You do the same thing with these. You're going to just grab them up. And just kind of twist them on in there. Right? Gonna wrap it up. Okay. And then we're going to start with the next one. And you can see that she has got plenty of flour on it. Okay. And you're going to make sure you got plenty of flour on your roller. You're going to start rolling it. Roll it on out. Until you get to that rectangle. Okay. That flour on it. Just keep doing that. And you can kind of kind of work it with your hands as well. Kind of stretch it out. Just a little bit more flour just to put on your roller. So it won't stick on it. Kind of roll it on. Keep stretching on that. Make sure you got plenty of flour on it. Like so. Roll it some more. Just like that. This can be a pizza dough if you want it to be pizza. It don't have to be noodles. You can have it all different ways, the way you want to. And you ain't got to worry about going to the store and spinning that arm and leg. You can have your own dough. Now we're going to take this and we're going to roll this dough. I'm going to flatten it out just a little bit more, y'all. Like that. Make sure I got it good and flat. You can make tortillas. I know y'all like tortillas and tacos. You can do the same way. It could be spinach. So now we're gonna just roll this dough just like we did the other. We're gonna roll it. I'm 
lines are never straight. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you getting ready to eat this. And remember, you can make as much as you want. By the time you done spent four or five dollars on some noodles, you could have made your own. You could also dehydrate this and have it as stock in your pantry. You could dehydrate it. If you want to know how to do that, I'll be happy to show you that in another video. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know. Make sure you sprinkle a little bit of that flour on here. Okay. Take you a few little pieces. You ain't gotta go and spend, sprinkle a little bit over here. You ain't gotta spend all your money on getting attachments and stuff. You can do this just like this manually. Just like that. I'm gonna wrap it around. Put it on the tray. I'm gonna get some more. And roll it on in here. You can make them as thin as you want, as thick as you want. It's all according to you. Okay. Look at there, look at there. You don't have to worry about going to no grocery store, y'all. Because you can make up your own little noodles and have them in your own house. <laughs> Got all the stuff that you need in your house just to make your own little noodles. Mm -hmm. the hoagie rolls y'all look at them and they smell so good yeah have your own little bread your own little hoagie rolls to make your little sandwiches out of uh, all of that and they smell divine they might not look perfect but I know they're gonna taste good mm mm Okay, honey bees, so about the dough. Now, after you don't got it rolled out and you don't want to use it right at this time, you can take this and put this in the refrigerator. It'll last you a good three days on that. Cover it up and put it in a, a, a bowl, a container or whatever like that and stick it in the refrigerator for three days. If you want to freeze it, it can last in your freezer for a good three months, okay? And, and that way you can just keep making it up and whenever you want some, you can go in your freezer, you take it out, let it thaw out a little bit and get it ready to go into your boiling water. And that's pretty much it on those um, noodles right there. So that's all you have to do with that. And now, hey y'all, stay tuned for part two of this video because I'm going to be showing you how you cook these with the little meal that I'm going to put together for tomorrow and that way you can see how I do this. I'm going to have a nice little menu going on and I'm going to show you how I cook these noodles and if you like this video y'all give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe to the channel y'all. You know I can't even talk because I'm so excited that I was able to make this stuff for you and I hope you can do it as well and leave me a comment down below and let me know how it turned out for you subscribe to the channel like i was telling you y'all give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and y'all have yourself a wonderful and blessed day bye bye